Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's doing good. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maya. If you like the energy, if you like the vibe, feel free to subscribe and press that thumbs up. Okay, so let's see what's going to pop out Capricorn. And also, you know, I'm going to say some signs, but if there's some signs that I see and I'm picking up something else, I'm going to say them. And I might just not say anything, okay? If you need a personal reading, the description's down below. You can find it there. And I might be doing some money oils next month, okay? So I'll let you guys know when that's um, brewing up. Let's see what's going on here with Capricorn. Mm. I mean, I haven't even started. Minera. What does Capricorn need to know? <clears throat> what does Capricorn need to know? What else? What else? Somebody here. You know, I feel like you've released a lot of your fears, a lot of your anxieties, a lot of things that were going on in your life that might have been, you know, like, I'm picking up, like, long-term, very long-term, you know. Oh, God. My, my back is really bad in pain. I have kidney stones, and I'm here, but it doesn't matter. It's just I'm in severe pain. With the Eight of Swords come out of reverse... You know, it's like a lot of people stabbed you in the back. You feel me? Through your whole life. You feel me? And I feel like you're not worried about that anymore. I feel like you're just moving on forward and finding yourself into like, you know, different options. I feel like you're thinking a lot. I think you're meditating a lot on yourself and seeing how you're going to move forward. But, you know, I feel like there was a commitment here or you're getting into a commitment and you're trying to balance this out in some type of way where it could be something that... You were involved in a commitment with somebody here that there was like some type of marriage promised or a celebration or something that you were going on or is happening right now with a person that's going to go wrong for you because this person has too many options. This person's like dealing with many people in different places. It could be when you're going to work. It could be when you're, you know, it could be when you're, when they go to the grocery store, you feel me? Like, it doesn't matter. When you're going to cheat on somebody, you're going to cheat on them however the fuck it is. But I feel like you're more worried, even though something here happens with anybody that's cheating on you or they have many options or they do have options or whatever the case may be, I feel like no matter what, you're still going to keep on moving and balancing out your options, balancing out your life, balancing out what you want to do. Because I feel like you've been, some of you Capricorns, what I'm picking up here, for so long, you got stabbed up so many times that like one more, for me, is what I'm picking up. It's like you're saying one more is not going to hurt. And that's sad to even say. Because, you know, and this is not for every Capricorn. Because I'm picking it up like... It could be, but it's like an energy that I'm picking up. It's like one more, it ain't going to hurt. And you can't move forward like that because, you know, when a person betrays you and stabs you in the back and does all kind of shit to you, one more is another one. You feel me? Is one more is a problem you feel me but somebody's thinking here like that and it could be you capricorns and i'm picking up on some of you but it could be the other person but somebody here is very happily enjoying themselves while you're do while you're balancing out your life meaning what it's telling me is a trabajo like somebody here is going out to work or was working or is you know studying or whatever the case may be it's like bringing abundance or trying to like bring to the home or whatever the case may be but i feel like somebody's going to work here or maybe like dating around hustling whatever it is and this person is telling you they're doing something else but and this something else there's a lot of people involved you a lot of fake friends a lot of people that are into drugs drinking addictions and they're having a whole shit going on there and somebody here is doing a lot of cheating here but you got justice coming in here. 
It's like you're trying to balance out your life and it seems like there's never enough is what I'm hearing here of you balancing out your life. You're supposed to, you, you know, like I'm picking up a lot of like water movement here. So some of you might be like enjoying the water or want to go out to the water or that's what, you know, eases your mind here for some reason. But just is coming in. To solve something that is supposed to be solved. But what I'm picking up mostly about justice here is like you're trying to balance this out. And it's like you're trying to close your eyes in some type of way and ignore everything around you. Because you just want to be happy. And I feel like whoever's thinking like this needs to stop thinking like this. Whether it's Capricorn, one or two or three or five of you or the cross watcher. Because I feel like because... Somebody's been stabbed in the back so many times. I don't feel like you should take it like, you know, one morning going to hurt me. So, you know what? I might as well just move on with this person and be happy and make the best of it. You feel me? And, like, if they stab me in the back, well, you know what? I'll move to somebody else. It doesn't work like that. There's somebody here that's very conniving. Somebody that's promising things here. Somebody that's trying to pretend like they're balancing out with you when they're actually going to walk out. Is what I'm seeing here. It's like you're made for blessings. You're made to receive blessings at this time. It's like something here is blocking. And it's like you're like thinking a lot. I'm picking up an energy that's overthinking things and overthinking things. And just doesn't know how to move forward the correct way. And it might be you or this person. Who knows? Take it how it hits you. Let me see. Yeah. I'm kind of mix it up. It's like you're fighting the Palace of Wands is a house full of drama, a house full of chaos, a house full of fighting, a house that might be, you know, a person that may, might be headed your way with the, oh my God, a person that causes drama everywhere they go, a person that no matter where they're at, no matter who they're talking to, no matter what the situation is, explodes and fights. And they could bring this to your home and it could be a problem in your house with the police. Because it's a person that right now you might be hitting a connection or might have hit a connection and you're seeing this from this person. But I feel like it's a person that comes in and pretends like they want to balance this. Everything is good. You know, I'm all about you. I love you so much. It's like, you're my world. I've never felt nothing like this before. And it's like, boom. It hits you out of nowhere. This person's a chaos, a problem, and it could bring problems to your home. And it's like somebody here is fighting their mind a lot. Overthinking things. The king of pentacles in the bottom of the deck. You're worried more about your money, but I feel like whoever is coming into your energy, whoever is in your energy right now, or that you're about to release, because I feel like you're about to release somebody here, it's because of the chaos and the drama. This person doesn't give a fuck. This person has been in prison before. This person has been in jail before. This person either did something. Listen, I feel, I smell burn, burning, and it's on my candles. So somebody be careful with your home, your stove, your gas, if you have gas stoves, any type of stoves, your oven, connections in the wall, wires, whatever it is, check everything. If somebody's saying here, oh no, everything's on point, check everything anyways again because I'm smelling burnt here. Just be careful with the house because she's sending me a house can catch on fire or caught on fire. But somebody here... I don't know if they're going to commit arson or something's going to happen with arson or a mistakenly happen, but she's telling me, una casa va a coger candela. Oh my God. Like, I. She's telling me a house is going to catch on fire here. So be careful here with anybody. Like, check your things in your house. This might not be for every Capricorn, but for whoever hearing this, is hearing this, just do it, please. Because when she says things like this, it could be, you know, a Capricorn. It could be whoever's watching a crosswatch. It could be anybody that bumped into this video. It could be a friend of yours, family members, or whatever it is. But I feel like somebody here is slowly, slowly coming into your energy that might just shift you off this energy because I feel like this person's deceiving. Whoever here you met or you're dealing with or you're currently... You know, having a little bit of trouble with it. You're like, oh no. I'm just here for the fuck of it. You know, I'm just here to like have somebody next to me. This person's going to fuck you up really bad. They're going to bring trouble to your home. And there is trouble in a home right now. So a lot of people here have been in and out of homes here. Causing problems because of a certain someone here. Let me see. Okay, I'm 
from the fence. You need to you need to put your inner strength to stand like this empress. Because right now you're supposed to be standing like the empress, like I said. Well, I don't remember what I said, but you got to put your inner strength and your power to overcome this because I feel like this person, no matter what you try, no matter what you do, no matter what you did, was like a person that has full control when it comes to drama, stress. I mean stress. Well, you might be going through stress, of course, but I don't know why I said stress. But is a person that when it comes to drama, they're like drama kings and drama queens. You feel me? I feel like... I don't know, but somebody's lying here about being married and having a child. Somebody's lying here. About being, about being married and having a child. So be careful who you're dating, who you with. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female, but somebody's lying here. Somebody's avoiding a conversation here about something that you keep on asking about and they avoid it. Somebody's lying to you here. Heavily lying here. I feel like somebody here is either in your connection or trying to come in to your um, energy because they like the party life. I feel like they like to drink, smoke, the party life. I feel like they like to vibe, that type of energy. I feel like somebody has a child here. And they're very reckless with their child. They don't take care of their child properly. Like the empress needs to take care of their child. You feel me? Somebody prefers to party here. And it could be somebody you were dealing with or somebody you're dealing with. Somebody prefers to party and they pretend they love their child and they care for their child and I'm doing this for my child. But on the other end, is like what she's telling me. If you are like in another place, it, my God, what she's telling me is like, I'm trying to keep this so positive. But she's telling me that like, somebody here either lied about their child and put their child as a shield to pretend that they're a good person or some shit like that. But they're actually not taking care of their child. It's like they do things in front of their child. They drink, they smoke, they do things in front of their children. So if, you're, if somebody's doing that in front of their children, they don't give a fuck about their children. Because you don't drink, smoke, and bring a whole bunch of people to your house and have people that, man, with such low vibrational energies around your children. Somebody's been lying to you the whole time here. Somebody was adopted here, is what she's telling me, and carried from birth. And somebody actually thinks these, you know, that you have, like, your parents are your parents. And I'm sorry that I have to say it, but she's telling me, lo tiene que decir. Like, you have to say it. Somebody doesn't know here they're adopted. You have to look up on that. Because she's telling me, tienes que mirar bien. Because there's confusion and papers here. Somebody here doesn't know they're adopted. Look at this. I didn't even see it. The three of cups in the bottom of the deck. You know, you could be dealing here with a Leo, um, a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, more Libra here. Let me see what else here. I don't know, but something's fishy about um, somebody here. Somebody's family member here is lying to somebody here. Or they never just said they never said nothing. But somebody here in your energy, whoever you're dealing with Capricorn, whoever you're gonna meet, be very careful because there's people coming into your energy that have a lot of options. And when I say options, they're dealing with a lot of people. Not only you and not only the person behind them that is with them, but they're dealing with a lot of people. They like to sleep around with many people. Let me see. What else does Capricorn need to know here? Ooh, there's a lot to be said here. Again, this person's cheating like a motherfucker. Look at this. Capricorn. 
This is a lot. I can't take all of these. It's too many. Capricorn. You're standing like the, S, like the Ace of Pentacles right now. Your money, your success, whatever you want to build, whatever you're trying to build, is the most important thing right now in this reading. Your money, your success, your stability, everything that has to do with stabilizing your life. You know, there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of snakes here. There's a person that's being a snake to you and you're not noticing. It's like, it's like, you know, when you're seeing somebody and it's like you've been through so much and it's like, you just want to see what you want to see. Look at this. The four of cups in reverse. It's like you're avoiding something that is for you something the universe is trying to give you something that's supposed to be yours it could be a commitment it could be anything but i feel like you're avoiding something here or you avoided it i feel like whoever you were dealing with here or you're dealing with here is they're in a fucking cycle of so many people involved i'm seeing so many people that is just crazy. I've never seen so many people in a reading. There's a lot of drugs. There's a lot of alcohol. There's a lot of things going on in the house here. There's a lot of money being spent. There's a lot of money they took from you. There's a lot of money that you're putting... You're giving someone or you're helping someone with and they're wasting it on something that they're not supposed to waste on. But I feel like something that was trying to be handed over to you or something was for you here. And it's like you ignored someone here that was for you and you went moving forward and you bumped into a karmic is what I'm picking up here. The Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Fast movement from somebody coming in here. Let me see something here. Somebody might want to come back here. And they're pissed. Let me see. What is this for Capricorn? Look, the King of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands in reverse. This person's lying to you. Whoever you're dealing with here. You know, you're trying to stabilize your money. You're trying to be the best you can. You're trying to be, you know, you got the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here. All about your money. All about yourself. All about, you know, nurturing yourself. You know, getting your abundance together. You know, to get to that happiness that you want, those ten of cups. But somebody's lying here. Somebody lied to you here. It's like they, they painted a picture or they're painting a picture of like, you know, let's be together. Let's do this. But then they're lying. They're lying about commitment. You might last with this person a year, maybe six months. Maybe it could be two years. But this person is not going to commit how they're truly saying they're going to commit. You're going to find out that this person's cheating or you're going to bust them cheating. They're going to deceive you. I'm telling you, I cannot make shit up. Let me see. What else here for Capricorn? My God, they're all flying. There's a lot to be said here. It's like Capricorn, you got so much in your mind that you want to spit out and like say as so much. You There's so much in your mind you want to say, but you're keeping it inside of you. Some of y'all Capricorns move forward to somebody else. And left somebody behind that wanted to be with you. You forgot about this person. And it's like your whole world flipped upside down. Because some karmic came in here. And I don't even say, I like to say karmic. But it's what I'm picking up right now. Some deceiving energy came up here. And flipped your world upside down. And made you think that we're going to do with you. While you were building. While you were building your abundance. While you were standing stable. And being structured in what you were doing. And they fucked your whole shit up. This person, my God, I just heard, you know, sweet little angel for some reason. You're going to move forward, Capricorn, from this. It's going to come to the light, whatever I'm picking up here. But they're juggling with many people. And for some reason, somebody likes to wear um, 
I don't know if it's a bandana or um, a rag or something around their head. It could be a female or male. But I feel like somebody here, for some reason, has like... Um, if somebody here feels sick or somebody here is going through a disease, uh, not a disease, like a really bad sickness... You know, I feel like you need to go more into the spiritual side for help, okay? Because I feel like somebody here is sick with cancer. I'm so sorry. It could be somebody here. It could be a family member. It could be somebody, but I'm picking up cancer. Not somebody here. Look. The page of swords in the bottom of the deck. It's like somebody here is so fucking conniving and pissed off i feel like somebody here is out for revenge on you i don't know for why this person's in your energy right now Wait a minute. what else they know you're broke they, oh my god like what the fuck capricorn whoever whatever capricorn right now is broken hearted vulnerable to the point where something happened with somebody here and you got heartbroken by somebody. You've been thinking about somebody. And you can't get that somebody. Somebody's coming in here because they know you're vulnerable. And they're going to mess you up. Don't let that happen to you. Because people are very conniving here. All you want to do is give love. Because the Queen of Cups is the bottom of the deck. And receive love. But somebody is going to break your heart severely. And you don't even see it coming. Let me see what else. The Capricorn. You're not going to see this coming. And if you did already, then you know what I'm talking about. But you're not going to see this coming. Look at this. This person is having a good old time. Celebrating and doing all kind of shit with their friends. It's like this person has no desire of giving and they will not give. When it comes to abundance and stability, it's like they're holding it into their chest. And it's like they're not going to give anything. They're going to help. This person's having money situation. That's probably why they're, they're coming into your energy. And it's hard to say because a lot of people do this. And it's fucking disgusting. You are going to be so disappointed when this... I'm picking up an energy here that when you find out what this person is doing... Look in the bottom of the deck, the fool. The one that goes around like a fool, jumping from person to person... Person to person and not realizing they can get an STD and all kind of shit. It's like I'm picking up an energy that when you find out this person fucked you over, you're going to blow up and all hell's going to break loose here. And let me tell you something. I feel like there's three people involved here and one person. Mm -mm. Man, this person that you're dealing with, that you were dealing with, likes to sleep around with. Man. Look at this. He came back right out. The Page of Swords. Somebody here going to be ready for hell on earth. This is how they want to see you. This person took so much of your money, your time, your energy. It's like a person that is going to either leave you in the cold or already left you in the cold. While you're trying, while you refuse something that was in your path, in your way, that could have been a commitment. This person turned it over for you. Very conniving energy and a lot of earth here. It's like earth, earth, earth. Libra. Um, Libra again, Aquarius, Gemini. Pisces. Cancer. But there's a lot of earth here. Let me see. Give me something else on this spread. Anyway, for Capricorn. Else. Yeah, it's like there's a privileged person here at a distance from you that you might be missing. A privileged lady or a privileged man, somebody that you miss that's long distance from you, or it could be somebody that you haven't seen in a while here, or that you're thinking about. But somebody here is supposed to be honored for some reason. Let me see something. Give me something on this spread. On this conniving as energy. Yeah, what else? 
Listen, I cannot make this shit up. You got to be very careful with who you're bringing into your energy, who you're surrounding yourself with, who your friends are, who the fuck you're dealing with, who the fuck you're giving your energy to, who you're sleeping with, and who is you're trying to commit to. Because there's going to be a problem in court, and there's going to be a very wealthy man. That could be an attorney, it could be a judge, it could be, you know, anybody that's going to make something happen here. You might be dealing with somebody that has some type of somebody in their family that can make things move when they want it to, even though they're the fuck up. Somebody's been here in prison. Hmm. Let me see. Give me one more in this cabinera. It's like I'm picking up so many energies. It's like, yeah. You're meant to go on this journey for a reason. So you can see what, I don't know why, but she's telling me you're meant to go on this journey. Somebody might be taking a trip very long distance. Why would I say very long distance? It sounded like a child. Somebody might be taking, uh, taking a trip to another state or maybe to, you know, a move or something. But you gotta, like, there's some legal issues going on here with that. Somebody might have something that's uh, in a long distance that you might be fighting for or a house is going to be fought for here. Somebody is coming in here to take something away. You're going to have to probably um, travel for that. And it doesn't mean you're going to have to travel to um, fix this problem. Some You're going to have to travel for a reason, <clears throat> possibly move. But this is how they want to see or nothing. This person you're dealing with is very conniving. <clears throat> Let me give you one more. I'm sorry. I'm very sick. Just because I'm in any other reading. Look at this. True dedication. Somebody might be going here in a divorce where the person has a lot of power. And likes to pay off people to have power in a court system. And, you know, it could be a very privileged person with money. It doesn't have to be rich or wealthy for that. But they have power in the court system. You feel me? And they have connections. And it could be a divorce happening. But I'm picking up a lot of fuckery here. With the police. With the court system. With a person going into your home and causing chaos. With a person that's going to destroy your home if you keep on with this person. But I'm, she's telling me it's like you're supposed to go through this. I don't know why. Sometimes we have to go through shit to see shit. Let me see something here. Mira, mira. What is that we need to see her here? Angel 555. Okay, so look it up. Something's probably there for you that you need to know. <clears throat> what is Capricorn need to know? Let me see, Capricorn. I feel like you're heartbroken for some reason. I feel like you're missing somebody too. Capricorn, somebody here is missing somebody. And she said to me that somebody here is really, really mad because you're missing somebody that either moved on to somebody else or is doing their own thing. You're seeing them in a different way. You're seeing them like they're known or something. And they're like, I don't know, in the spotlight or something. You're like ready to go and fuck somebody up. Copies. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot to say here that's not been spoken, but I feel like somebody here got hurt because somebody here, okay, listen, now she's going in. My God, and I have such a pain in my back. She's telling me that somebody here refused to be with somebody at some point. Somebody fucked somebody up here. Take it how it hits. It could be, it could be Capricorn or the Cross Watcher. Somebody refused somebody here that was, you know, marriage material, all kind of material. Moved on. Bumped into somebody. They fucked somebody up. And now this person's mad that they got fucked up. That was supposed to get what was coming to them that was good. And now they're mad. And they want to go after somebody because they think that somebody here is with somebody else. If y'all didn't understand me, I don't understand myself. Because that's the way she put it. But I don't even know what I just said. To tell you the truth. Minera. Somebody here is very pissed off. Be careful somebody don't go to jail for being pissed off. 
and trying to go after somebody because you think somebody's with the person you want to be with. But at the end of the day, she's telling me somebody refused some, something here. So if you refuse or somebody refused you and they pissed or you're pissed because there was somebody else, you think there was somebody else, it's nobody's problem because it was refused. It was handed to you. And it was turned away to go somewhere else. And that's why she's saying you have to go through this. Or somebody has to go through this. Let me see what else does Capricorn need to see here or here. It could be Capricorn. It could be you. It could be the crosswatch. It could be anybody here. What else? There's somebody doing you really dirty here, Capricorn. And I feel like there's a lot of shit involved here. And I feel like this is why this is so confusing here. Give me one or two from this deck, man. And there it is. Let me see what's going on here. Nightmares. Somebody's having nightmares here. Nightmares and dreams that are not making no sense and waking up sweating. Look at this. There's a lot to be said here that hasn't said. I think this is going to be the longest reading here. Look at this. Capricorn. I cannot make shit up. This is your whole entire motherfucking reading. You either have strong Capricorn... Maybe a Capricorn stadium where you're dealing with another Capricorn. But this is your whole reading. It's like, she, there's so much to say here. Can we just try one more time? Love conquers all. Somebody's missing somebody here. Somebody believes that con love can conquer everything that's happened here. And I think it's coming from you, Capricorn. It might be coming from another person here. But somebody was missed. Somebody missed an opportunity with somebody and ended up with somebody that fucked them up. Whoever this person is that fucked you up, they're pissed. There was somebody that fucked them up. The thought of you with anyone else drives me crazy. I try not to think about that. Somebody here is missing somebody. You got Angel 111, also 1111. So look that up because there's something there that wants to, you know, reveal itself to you, okay? Someone is actively um, trying to be like you, ex-lover or friend. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody's trying to be like you here. And I feel like if you're connecting with a person here that knows your past, knows your vulnerability, knows what you've been going through, they want to be like you. They're trying to... La it's not like acting like you're trying to be in your same level. If you move this way, they move this way. If you do this, they do this. If you like that, they like it too and they don't really like it. If they want to grab... If you want to grab this because you think you want to take it home, oh, I want to get one too because I've always liked that. They lying. It's like a person that copycats is what I'm picking up here. I will meet you on the other side, waiting. This is in reverse. So somebody here, I'm not reading reversals. Is either waiting for you on the other side and they passed away already. And my condolences if somebody's spouse or you, somebody you love passed away or a friend or a family member passed away, my condolences. But I feel like Whatever we hear was given by the universe is going to be done in the realm or the person here. I just want to fuck. I cannot make this up. Whoever you're dealing with here is a person that just wants to fuck. That goes around sleeping with everybody and their motherfucking mother and they with you and they're portraying to be, you know, this person that wants a commitment, but that's all they do. They just want to fuck. They probably like you in bed, but that's all they're, that's all they're good for. Addicted to cheating. Might never stop. I cannot make this shit up. I'm telling you. She threw down for, for a reason. Angel number 333. Look for these numbers. There's something in there you need to see that might spark something in you. Dominate. Okay, listen. It says, dominate the energies around you. Don't let it dominate you. Put light towards it to block it. Don't run or you'll be running forever. So when I wrote that card, it was like, the energies surrounding you are trying to dominate you. Don't let nobody dominate you. Put light towards towards whatever's trying to dominate you. If it's this relationship, it's a past one, if it was already done with, whatever it is and it's trying to come back, whatever it is, dominate it. Put some light on it and don't run away from your fears. Face them. Because if you run away from your fears, if you don't open, if you don't open up, if you do not put light into what you want to say or do, or dismiss, 
you'll be running forever. You have to face everything in this world. <clears throat> because if you don't, you'll be a runner forever. You feel me? Or this person will be a runner forever. Somebody here has a lot to say and is not saying it. If you don't say it, or this person say it, or whatever it is that I'm picking up here, you're going to be running forever from your from whatever you want to say here. Meditation once a day, grounding, aligning chakras. So, yeah. You need to meditate at least once a day, 10, 5 minutes, 15 minutes. Align chakras if you can, and ground yourself. You are earth. You need to be grounded at all times. I won't let you be happy with anyone else. You belong to me. So somebody here is playing a lot. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or you have a Scorpio in your chart. Somebody won't let you be happy with somebody else. But I feel like whoever here you're connecting with that you just left, they're not going to let you be happy with nobody else. They're in full control. They feel like they need it. The control is a controlling person. They come off like the sweetest and the nicest person. You feel me? But at times, they can blow up like a motherfucker. And let me tell you something. Whatever Capricorn here rose up, I feel sorry for this person. Because you were guided somewhere else and you turned this way and you fucked something up that was meant for you. And you might not see it now. You might see it later. You might see it when you finish the reading. You might see it two days later, a week later, or maybe a year later and say, damn. Okay, now I know what she's talking about. I don't know what she's trying to say. Let me see. Is there a message here? Let me see. <clears throat> is there a message here from Capricorn or somebody else that Capricorn needs to hear? What else? What else? That's it. Let me see what we have here. This is the longest reading, I think. Let me see. I haven't even seen the time. <clears throat> I got spooked. Yeah, there's a runner here. Somebody ran here and got spooked. From something that they were supposed to be in and they went somewhere else. I just wasn't ready for you. So Capricorn, this could be you. That something was given to you and you just ran from it. And you went somewhere else because you got spooked here. And this could be the other person. You weren't ready or this person wasn't ready. Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure it out what it is. I feel like this is you Capricorn. Something's missing. You might be missing somebody here. This was missing. I'm reminded of you constantly. So two people here. I'm picking up these. I'm picking up two people here. We're supposed to be together and everything shifted around. Into a whole entire motherfucking circle. And fucked everything up. I feel like there's um ambush going on here for some reason. I don't know. Let me see. What is a message here for Capricorn? This could be related to anything. Angel of Travel. So you got an angel of travel. So if you're planning to travel, you know, go anywhere, move forward. Like I said, somebody here might be moving or traveling. I cannot make this shit up. You know, have your guys, talk to your guys, talk to your ancestors. But you got a little angel here. It could be, you know, a past loved one. It could be somebody. But I feel like, you know, there is like a little girl on the other side is what I'm picking up. It could be somebody's daughter that passed on or, you know, wasn't born yet. I feel like this little girl is watching you and taking care of you. She's smiling. It's like she's smiling and she has something pink around her head, like a boar or something. But she's smiling and she wants you to know she's here. But I feel like whoever's going to travel here, be careful. I feel like somebody likes to hike here or is going to go to the, like, um, like grounds where there's a lot of camping or stuff like that, but something either somebody either traveled already and something was somebody was watching over you because something was gonna happen or somebody's gonna be traveling, okay? So be careful if you travel. Let me give you one more because I'm closing it. Is there anything else here? An advice for Capricorn. Angel of enlightenment. So somebody here is trying to enlighten you. Okay, you need some enlightenment in your life. You need to go out. You need to travel, maybe. You need to get out. You need to open up. Because I feel like something here is not letting you open up. 
I feel like you don't feel too much like um I feel like you're not feeling too much enlightenment right now. That's what I'm picking up. They're trying to enlighten in some type of way. Lay your inner child out. Lay your inner child out. Angel of friendship in the bottom of the deck. You need real friends in your circle. Because you got fake ones. They're trying to tell you. You ain't got no friends. The friend that you have. The friends that you have, they're not around you because of this person. Let me see. This person is very conniving. But you are moving really good. When it comes to stability and abundance, you're going to be moving good or you're already moving into that abundance. So money-wise, you're going to be all right. You're going to be good with money. If you already go with money, then you're good. But if you, listen, money's coming in, all right? You got an O here. You got, let me see, an R here. You got an I here. You got a G. You got a Y here. Oh my God, you got an H with an I. My ring keeps on flipping upside down because I've been losing weight. I don't know what the fuck. You got an E here. Yeah, I curse people. I don't give a fuck. You got an F here. No, I don't give a fuck. I'm just playing. You got a T. Let me see. I don't know why I feel like I'm going so slow. You got an N, which could also be a Z. Somebody here might be moving slow. Or it's like you're trying to move slow into something or something. You're trying to wait for something slow to come into your energy. Or wait for the right moment for something. Because I feel like I was like on some type of slow motion there for a minute. It was weird. Maybe you're feeling that way. You got an A here. Like, some things are not moving your way. I don't know. It's weird. Or intuitive, you're picking this up. N, which could also be a U, okay? You got another O here. Okay, you got a D here. Man, y'all got some good letters. You got an E here. Okay, so let me see if there's any doubles. You got double O, so I'm going to flip this O. And you got double E. Y'all some, got some good letters. You ain't got too many doubles. Let me see what I can get you. You got an L here. And this O came back. Alright. So I'm going to flip the other O. Because that's the only one you got. You got a J. Okay. So I'm going to wish you the best of luck. I love you all. And I'll see you later my loves.